Hello. Hey guys, look, I'm so sorry that I couldn't make it down to South Carolina today. Um, on Tuesday, we had a memorial service for uh, Jim Vance. And I think all of you guys remember the, uh, the NBC anchor guy who was in your corner when you won the championship and they didn't let you into uh, the playoffs. Well, he passed away on Tuesday and we just started school. So I really could not take off today to get down there uh, to be with you guys. So I just wanted to say hello. I, want, uh, I wanted you to know that I still think about you and care about you. And I hope you have a wonderful time. Let's talk about Coach Jeffries. Willie Jeffries is a jewel of a man. And I learned so much from him, and he wasn't even my coach. He was your coach. But he allowed me to come and talk to you at a time that was real critical, when you were kind of had lost your, lost your way, didn't quite know what was going on. And I approached him and told him, hey, coach, I think I know what's wrong. That is a man. I can't tell you how many times I reflected and I thought about just how genuine and how um, unafraid Coach Jeffries was to have uh, someone to come in and talk to his team. And not only did I just talk to you guys, I told him no coaches could be in there. And he still let me do it. And I am forever grateful, Coach, for, for that opportunity. But more importantly, for all the young men that you have mentored and helped in and even given careers to in the National Football League. I'll never forget you. Um, I'm always cheering for you. Uh, and I'll be always be in your corner. <sighs> Coach Jeffries allowed me to come to what I call your rescue, coming to the rescue. And I just wanted you to know that now as a teacher in a high school, I have not changed my demeanor or my mission in order to help those that I feel needs help. Uh, right now, I'm teaching television production in a high school in Prince George's County, Maryland, uh, at a visual and performing arts high school. And I'm going to tell you, um, there are some real winners in this bunch, okay? And I just wanted you to know that I'm not going to treat them any less than I treated you, that I'm going to give them everything I got. And I'm telling you, uh, it's going to be some people who, go, who, who are going to... Um, have an impact on the way we see things, hear things, uh, and um, they'll be heard from, I should say. That'll be a, that, that's a good one. You hear about these guys. All right. Um, I, I, I just wanted you to know, too, that, you know, at Howard University right now, uh, we have something really, really to be proud of and to shout about. So all my bison uh, brothers, please understand that the university needs your support. But more importantly, the Black College Football Museum is real. It is a museum that I started, uh, uh, and it's online. But more importantly, now, right now is the time that we're going to make it be what it needs to be. But I cannot do it without your help. Now I'm coming to you. I need you to gather your pictures and photos and all of the things and mementos and memorabilia that you have and let me know that in fact you have them and you're ready for it to be shown. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic, fantastic piece of history, but I need you in order to help it come to fruition. The kind of football that we played in the black colleges, it doesn't get the recognition that it really deserves. Yeah, we got the Black College Football Hall of Fame, which is fabulous. But I'm talking about the, the support staff, the, the students. I'm talking about the cheerleaders. I'm talking about the band. I'm talking about the players who did not make All-American and all conference without these guys without the input of our communities no one would really know about the joy 
that we felt by going through this process. And I'm going to tell the process. This is my last leg, gentlemen, my last leg. Once I get this group into television and into the movies or wherever they want to go, the next thing we're doing is telling our story. And I want you to know it started at Howard. Now, we didn't play the first black college football game. That was a Livingstone uh, and, well, Johnson C. Smith, pretty much Johnson C. Smith, uh, in 1892. But the great coaches that coached at Morgan and up and down the East Coast all came out of Howard University. All right? So it's going to start with us again. And we're going to bring the history forward. Okay? And we're going to do a Howard thing. Have a good time. Coach Jeffries, I love you. Uh, guys, I'm always pulling for you. Some of y'all are still coaching in the NFL. And hello. Uh, but I'll see you again soon. All right? God bless. And I'll see you uh, next time. Yep. All right. Uh, guys, I wanted to just take a moment to introduce you to some of my students. And... We just, I just want you to know that the work that I started 30 years ago is still going on, as you can well see. So the video, I'm sorry, we kind of like, we're so busy, but we jumped together, put it together. But we just wanted you to know that we're thinking about you, and we got your back, and we want you to enjoy yourself uh, tonight. And we will see you in the future, okay? All right. Play. Coach J. <laughs> All right. And